Welcome. All right, so what I'd like to do is show you how to reflect about the y equals x line. So this one uh, gets a lot of students. So let's go ahead and first graph um, our pre-image, which is going to be our points labeled right here. And actually, I'll come down a little bit here. OK, so plotting these points, we know here's our y-axis and here's our x-axis. So a would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. a, b is at 4, negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 2. And C is at 0, 4. OK. <clears throat> so the y equals x line. Now, <clears throat> the students usually remember the x-axis. They usually remember the y-axis. But the y equals x line usually kind of gets students. And all I can really say is, you know, if you have coordinates x and y, the y equals x line is pretty much the same that whatever x equals, y equals. So if x equals 5, that means y equals 5. So let's plot that point and see what that would be. <clears throat> so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that would be right there. And if I did 4 equals 4, that would be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. That would be right there. And if I did 3 equals 3, that would be right there. 2 equals 2. 1 equals 1. 0 equals 0. And so forth. So you can see this line of symmetry pretty much cuts it in there. And that is what we call the y equals x line. So what I want to do is I want to reflect, again, this figure over this line. And again, it becomes difficult because one, this is like a diagonal line, right? And we have coordinates that are on the right of that line or below it and as well as above it. But remember, all we're doing when we're looking into a reflection is taking the distance from our point right, to our line of reflection and just reflecting that over. So if here's my original distance, I just need to go back up that same distance over it. So it's going to be somewhere like right there. Now, there is a rule with the coordinates that we can look at. Because for any two coordinates that I have for my a, b, and c, to determine what the new coordinate is going to be, all I'm simply going to do is swap my x and my y coordinates. So therefore, my, if here's my pre-image, my new image, is even though they're still going to be x and y's, I'm just going to swap them. So now it's going to be 3 comma 6. So you just take your x and y coordinates and swap them. Now again, you're still going to graph this as that's the x coordinate, that's the y coordinate. But I just want, I use this notation to show you that you're just swapping the coordinates. So therefore, b prime is going to be negative 2, 4. And c prime is 4 comma 0. So now, we can, so now we know what the new image points are. Let's go and plot them. So a is 3, 6. So 1, 2, 3, up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you can see I was pretty close. So that is now a prime. b prime is going to be at negative 2. 1, 2, up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then c prime is now at 4, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. And now I can just connect these. And you can see, ladies and gentlemen, that um, even though it's not the you know, best represent, but these two triangles are exactly the same. Just all it is is flipped over this y equals x line. So I know the y equals x line you know, confuses you know, a lot of students a lot of times. But just remember, all you're simply doing to find your new points is swapping the x and y coordinates and then graphing accordingly. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you reflect over the y equals x line. Thanks.